Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Eh? How are you? Uh, today I would like to talk about this uh, max speeding rod T25 uh, uh, turbocharger uh, and try to share my first impression and what was the good things about it and what the difficulties uh, was about that. Eh? Uh, overall, uh, the turbocharger is very well made. Uh, the old finishing of the casting, the old finishing of the machine part, in my opinion, are uh, meeting the expectations. Uh, as you can see, the standard nowadays to produce these kind of items is almost uh, the same and the quality, again, of the machine parts, of the part machine parts, yeah are all good, balancing is here, things that already, uh, sorry about my hands, Let's see if I can make it better, in any way, things that already so many people or so many of you are noticing in their review. I'm not here to talking about uh, things that you can find already. Uh, what I'm talking about is the comparison between this uh, T25 uh, turbocharger and application and uh, the T3 T4 applications basically the T3 T4 turbocharger uh, we know is a uh, slightly bigger turbocharger it's very common to get used into the 1.6 1.5 and up uh, on the engine and uh, uh, this T25 sometimes can solve uh, a lot of issues a lot of problems um, let's go down to the specific why I said that it's well made. You see these parts right here? Uh, the Westgate bushing. In the past, I read the reviews that this uh, bushing or something was missing over there, and after a while, uh, the Westgate did not sit properly. Sorry about that doesn't sit properly inside here and start to be sloppy and things like that well if I'm looking on it it seems like then right now the whole uh, assembly is how it should be uh, and maybe it was an improvement over there yeah I know then for many of us and many let me say many of us the uh, drain hole or discharge hole for the compressor house for the I'm sorry turbine housing Sometimes it's too small, depends on what kind of pressure range, what size of engine you have. I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to port it, um, in case I'm going to need it. Uh, we we'll think about it, maybe just close it. Don't want to touch nothing here and use an external Westgate is probably the best um, solution. In here for now, at the moment, is missing the actuator. Uh, because I don't have it here, you know, during the video, but you guys know that you can have the option to lock it, <coughs> uh, or you have the option to use the, uh, in a, uh, let's call it internal uh, Westgate actuator instead of the external uh, Westgate. Uh, this general feature deal, everyone already know. I just would like to say no. How can you connect? this gentleman here with your Honda engine well uh, it can be a little challenging so I see a lot of answers I see a lot of questions uh, my direct uh, response to all this uh, deal is uh, this one. Uh, the intermediate body this guy right here, the one where the bearings is located, need to be supplied by oil and the oil has to come out at the bottom. Plus, need to be supplied by water, in this case uh, coolant from your uh, coolant system and the water has to come out, uh, taking with, with her the uh, some of the heat produce it inside this intermediate body. Now, uh, thread, thread file, 
try to size is that's the night, not for many. Okay, look, let's go straight forwards. This guy, very close to a quarter MPT. So you can see a quarter MPT here, thread fitting. You can go right in. I can engage the last three thread. I try with the blue one. If you don't overdo it because you don't need it, you're running maybe a one bar, 1.1 bar, because that's the normal maximum press on inside your coolant circuit. This gentleman, if you're using the right sealant, is gonna work perfectly. It's not slapping, nothing like that. Eh? Very close. So water in, water out, or coolant in, coolant out, a quarter entity. I found this one, this kind of fittings. Uh, very useful because has a very short uh, I call it Y but in any way very short extension so you can share share with you eh? you can take it out you go to Ace supermarket they got it and that's the feature that I'm using oops sorry right here eh? quarter MPT female quarter MPT male good to go you go in, it's not slappy, eh? good to go. This thread, I think it's a metric, it's very, very close, but you can do it. Uh, here at the bottom, <coughs> two metric eight. Fortunately, <laughs> you have to custom made this little item here and uh, thread an alpha inch in my case, MPT in the middle, in the way that I can apply the discharge and good to go, you know? Let me see if I can share with you. I don't want to make this video 3,000 minutes long. But these details are very important. You see what I mean? That's the discharge, 2 metric 8 by 1.25. I'll call it, simple call it metric 8, and you're good to go. Eh? 2 metric 8, a little flange, then it's nasty. I know I made it with my best abilities. Uh, alpha inch NPT thread goes in nice and easy, and you're good to go. Now, the one on the top, it's a little challenging because thanks God they sell to you the um, they sell they send in together with the turbocharger uh, the bolts eh? there is only 50% of uh, what has what it should be here okay this thread if I'm not wrong is a 12 metric 12 by 1.25 period check it metric 12 by 1.25 Many people are guessing stuff like that. No, I measure it. Metric 12 by 1.25. Whoever knows already, good for them. Whoever doesn't know, this may gonna help. See this guy right here? When you arrive in your home, it's not good. Uh, the whole body of that bolt, basically this is a simple bolt. And you can find at the Home Depot and everywhere else. Eh? They make a hole here and they made another cross hole in the way to intercept the existing one. That's it, it's not enough. You have to relieve, take off these my nasty fingers. You have to relieve this around in the way to have the oil coming from the feed goes around and be able to pass through and feed your turbocharger. How can you make the feed? It's a piece of cake. You take a, a piece of tubing or a piece of this I make it round because I got fancy it can be square it can be anything okay you drill it here half an inch half an inch 12.5 mil and then here you make 18 NPT or whatever other thread you want that's it two washers put the bolts on good to go okay you see see let me see if I can share with you now you have that guy, when the washer is there, this is about that, in the middle. Now you can feed, but you have clearance here for the oil to arrive, surrounding the bolts to get in. Eh? That's very, very important. This is everything I want to see. I want to say, I'm sorry, this whole thing helps me to understand the T25 application of my little Hondas and all the questions about the thread, about how can I do that and stuff like that now are answered forever for me. I hope it's gonna be answered for you. Now, the exhaust side is a little tricky. Uh, 
when you're looking at the picture of a T25, if you don't pay attention to the pattern, uh, it looks like exactly the same of the T3, T4. You have three at the bottom, two on the top, the pattern seems the same, but the size of this frame is way different than the T3, T4 frame. And you needed to have made an adapter plate. Okay? If you try to fit the T3, T4, uh, example, the exhaust, into here, it's not gonna work. Okay? You need to have an adapter plate or you have to modify. That is something that I cannot describe to something you have to do. The last things, you see the four holes? Everyone knows, I know, everyone knows. But I wanna say it anyway, uh, the, this frame on the T25 and the frame on the exhaust manifold then you have on your engine for the T3, T4 it seems to look like the same but it's different you need an adapter plate uh, you can find easy in internet and stuff like that uh, that's everything I want to say uh, how can you and where you can pick up the coolant for your body myself um, I'm, tea, I'm putting a T fittings uh, through the uh, water hose for the uh, heater so just uh, before the valve then is opening and closing the heater flow then you can see against your firewall and the exit hose there are two holes going in you know one is going in the other one is coming out or reverse one of the two and here you have the valve then adjust the flow then it's connected to your handle inside the uh, where you sit and you drive well split those lines and buy or made, I made it because I, I have some spare material, but you made it to uh, split, they cut the hose, one alpha goes in, one alpha go here, you take only one, but now you're good to go. And then you put whatever size of this, put this, put an AN thread, I put an eight MPT, uh, for a quarter MPT, and for me is good enough. So one is coming from here, going in here, the other one coming and go to the other side. At that moment, you create flow. Um, if I'm looking at the overall technical aspect of this application, do not exceed the diameter of the coolant and has to go inside the turbocharger. I, um, there is a balance between the two. You know, if you create a too much bypass, you can eliminate, uh, and you can create, eliminate flow somewhere because you are borrowing, and you can create overheating spot on other ones. If it's too small, you can create uh, no flow of any because inside this body and the water will tend to separate or do other stuff, separate me, evaporate or things like that, or create a bubble of pressure. You don't want that. So, in my opinion, for a T25. Uh, a quarter MPT with uh, three eight O's is uh, more than enough. Hmm. It's just why he said they and that. Well, if I'm looking a quarter MPT thread or whenever it is that uh, the direct fitting, the direct application, direct hole without restriction is a three eight. So I'm supposed and the engineer think about that. Hmm. Very simple. Quarter connected with three eight holes, etc. etc. So that's my review. Uh, clocking is not something that we want to say. Everybody can do that. You can clock it. Uh, those are no secrets. Everybody knows the quality of the uh, overall assembly is amazing. I'm not sponsorized by that because my channel got 50, <laughs> 50 subscribers. But anyway, eh, I hope to be better and help those 50 people in case they need to deal with that. So be careful. Eh? This guy, we know, is pulling faster, is way better. The T3, T4, I tried, no, fucking, no way. It's just, uh, in my application for my little Honda CRX, is spinning and too high in a range of 5,000, 6,000, 5,000 and up. I don't like that. So I, I went to the T25, tried to maybe grow up 1,000 RPM and will be more useful for street application. Eh? Okay, uh, salute everybody, and I hope this is going to help. Eh? Bye-bye.